Hi, and welcome to the Women in Film Project. We are a group of Mount San Antonio college students pursuing careers in filmmaking, and we wanted to take you down this journey with us as we explore the history of the film industry as it relates to women. But as young aspiring filmmakers, we didn't really know where to begin as women are so rarely talked about in film. So we asked ourselves, where's a great place to start? Google. In the 2017 Celluloid Report, it found that of the top 250 grossing Hollywood films, women accounted for only 18% of all directors, writers, producers, editors, and cinematographers employed. Directors Catherine Bigelow, Chloe Zhao, and Jane Campion are the only female directors to ever win Best Director at the Academy Awards. And only seven women have ever been nominated. So we wanted to create a project centered around women and all genders in film those who came before us, those who are in the industry, and those who will be in the industry. Join us as we explore women in film. You may be surprised to learn that before 1925, during the silent film era, Women screenwriters wrote the outlines for nearly half of all films. In fact, female screenwriters were highly desirable in the early years of cinema. One of the most famous female pioneering screenwriters at the time was June Mathis. Considered a screenwriting legend, she most famously discovered Rudolph Valentino, the cultural film icon and silent movie star. She was well known for her sharp narratives and careful preparation of a script for shooting, therefore creating great efficiencies for the studio. In fact, she would become one of the first female executives who had a film department for a major studio and soon become one of the highest paid executives in Hollywood. Anita Luz was another major writer at the time. Best known for her novel, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, she began her career writing scenarios and was the first female staff screenwriter in Hollywood. Throughout her career, she also wrote for Vanity Fair, Harper's Bazaar, The New Yorker, and even Broadway. Frances Marion is often cited as one of the most famous female screenwriters of the 20th century. During the course of her career, she wrote over 325 scripts and was the first screenwriter to win two Academy Awards. At one point, she was the highest paid screenwriter in Hollywood and in 1933 became the first vice president of the now known Writers Guild of America. A great number of women found work as editors. Editing in the silent era was considered menial and tedious work, similar to knitting and sewing, and it became common for young women with no professional training to be hired as cutters. The first editor to mention is Anne Boschens, who collaborated with director Cecil B. DeMille for more than 40 years. When the Academy Award for Best Film Editing was created in 1934, Boschens received one of the three nominations for her editing of Cleopatra. She later won the Academy Award in 1940 and became the first woman to win the Oscar in that category. Dee Dee Allen also left her mark on the editing world. One of cinema's all-time celebrated auteur film editors, she edited classic films such as The Hustler, Bonnie and Clyde, Dog Day Afternoon, and Reds. Allen also pioneered the use of audio overlaps and utilized emotional jump cuts. Other incredible female editors who also made their mark during the 20th century include Anne V. Coates, Verna Fields, Margaret Booth, Sally Mankey, Thelma Schoonmaker, and more. When the film industry was developing in the late 1890s to the early 1910s, working in film wasn't considered a profession, but rather a hobby. It was unsteady work and required people willing to learn on the job. However, this openness created opportunities for women who were often excluded out of other established industries to enter film and become creative forces. Alice Guy Blachet was one of those women. She was one of the first filmmakers to make a narrative fiction film, The Fairy of the Cabbages, in 1896, and the first woman to direct a film. It's believed that from 1896 to 1906, she was probably the only female filmmaker in the world. She also dared to push boundaries, experimenting with Goumont's chronofoam sync sound system. <laughs> color tinting, interracial casting, and special effects. 
And there were plenty of other women in film who wore many different hats. Lois Weber, for example, was an actress, a screenwriter, producer, and director who brought to the screen her concerns for humanity and social justice issues, like birth control and abortion, and made an estimated 200 to 400 films. She was also the first American female director to own her own film studio and pioneered the use of split-screen technique. Another female film zenith was Mary Pickford, an actress and producer whose career spanned five decades. She co-founded Pickford Fairbank Studios and United Artists and was one of the 36 founders of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. While all the women we mentioned were film pioneers in their own right, we also wanted to mention women of color who are often too forgotten and erased from the history books. Tressie Souders, for example, was the first African-American woman to direct a feature film, A Woman's Error, in 1922. Then there was Maria P. Williams, the first African-American woman to produce the film The Flames of Wrath in 1923. Esther Eng, a Cantonese-American film director, is notably the first to direct Chinese language films in the United States. She was recognized as a queer female pioneer who crossed the boundaries of race, language, culture, and gender. Women of color were often erased from Hollywood at that time and not credited for their work, but they still existed and set the precedent for future generations of women and all genders to come. And there's so many other historically important women we could have talked about today, like the eight-time Oscar-winning costume designer, Edith Head, or the first female cinematographer to be accepted into the ASC, Geraldine Brianne Murphy, or the iconic writer, director, actor, producer, legend, Ida Lupino, and so many others who paved the way for us. And hopefully this inspires others to do their own deep dives into the work of these incredible women. And thank you for joining us on this journey as we discovered the fabulous pioneering women in film. <laughs>